Hey everybody, Ron the Future here. How are you guys doing today? So go ahead and leave your comments down below. Let me know how you guys are doing as usual. I always love to know that. So as you can see by the thumbnail, I'm doing some model car, uh, doing a model car video today. I try to mix it up a little bit. Some of you might get confused for the new people. I'm Ron the Future and uh, I do videos on comic books, Hot Wheels, die cast cars, bigger ones like 125th scale, stuff like that, model cars. I live in Las Vegas. Sometimes I go around the casinos and check out the casinos for you guys so you guys can see what I see. Um, just different things. So if you like what you see, go ahead and like and subscribe. So today I've got three model cars to show you. And uh, a friend of mine, he collects some model cars and some other things. And uh, he didn't know that I collected model cars. You know, I collected a lot of other things, the Hot Wheels, the comic books, stuff like that. He didn't know about the model cars. And he has a little collection of his own. And when he found out I collected model cars, he gave me three of his favorites. So, um... So we'll get into my, now I'm going to turn the camera around to show you. So there's this Renault. And then we'll take a closer look at it. And this 60 Plymouth station wagon. Now these are really old. Uh, I don't know the exact year, but I think this one came out in 67 because that's what it says on the box. So that's probably when it came out. Um, this one I couldn't find the year, but to me this might look like the late 60s, maybe middle 60s, I'm not sure. And I don't have these two. And then the third one, that's why I took the thumbnail on, is this Z28 Camaro. So I think this still on the box around 1980. So, so all these are really old and I don't have these. And um, some I show on here, uh, sealed in the box, like this one is. I have more models coming up that are sealed in the box that I won't build because they're already sealed. I have models I still have to show that I've built years ago, like when I was in my 20s, I still have them. So look for those videos coming out. I should be getting to those pretty soon. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so the first one here, as you can see, it's this Pyro Vintage Brass Car. So it's a 1906 Renault Town Car. I think that's how you pronounce that, because I know it's spelled like Renault, but I believe it's a French car made in France, and it's called Renault. I'm not an expert on that. If you guys know something about that, let me know. So it's sealed, so I'm not going to open it. Uh, on the box, it does say it's a plastic kit with brass parts. So where you see the brass color, those are all brass parts that come in the kit. And I never seen one like this. Um, usually I, my cars don't go back to the 19, like 06 or 1910. I think my oldest one was a 19 is a 1927 Ford T bucket hot rod. So uh so this is really cool to have for me. So I'm just gonna show you the box a little bit. So right about there it says 1967. Now I don't know if that's when this model came out or if that's when the Pyro company got started. And it says um yeah, it's Pyro Park Union, New Jersey. So I'm not going to read you everything, but there's the, the write-up on it. So that's really neat. So this is the oldest car in my model car collection. And I'm really glad it's sealed, too. If it wasn't, this would be a fun build. It says on the box it's pretty easy to build. But I've been building model cars since I was a little kid, so I'm pretty advanced. 
But that's great though. It's hard to believe the seal didn't, the plastic seal didn't break all of these years. I mean, it's really nice. No rips or no gouges. That's where the price tag used to be. Usually on the seam here, I've had a few that have ripped or even in the back. So obviously this wasn't in a garage where it was really hot or a attic or basement. So this was really uh, taken care of. I have to ask my friend how long he's had these. I forgot to ask him that. He gave me these a few months ago and I forgot to ask him that question. And the next one is really cool. I don't have any station wagons at all. So this says USA Oldies. I've never even heard of that company. So it's a 60 Plymouth station wagon. It's a Johan 125th scale. So you can just picture the families in the 60s riding around in a wagon like this. It's a really unique wagon, really unique car. Show you some of the box here. Oh, it even has a spotlight. I didn't notice that before. That'd be really cool. That's what the custom cars have, the spotlights. If it has one or two. So there's the engine. Not sure the size on the engine though. Now this one isn't sealed. It has been open and my friend did tell me that, but all the parts are there. I'll open the box in a minute and show you. I've already went through it and what I can see, yeah, they're all there. So here's the cars that were available. So we've got the 62 Plymouth Fury hardtop. And let me know if you guys have any of these models. 1960 DeSoto Adventurer. Oh, that's a really nice one. I like uh, the body style on that. Oh, 1960, that was real futuristic. I can tell just from looking at it. It has the fins on the back. Let's see, 1969 AMX. Oh, that's really cool. 1961 Oldsmobile F85 station wagon. Oh, that's cool because I have the 1970 Oldsmobile Delta 88 in my garage right now. I have that in my playlist on this channel. Um, and I think it's under 1970 Oldsmobile if you guys want to check that out. I do have a couple classic cars. Let's see if I can open this up with one hand. I don't want to ruin the box here. It's hard on you film with one hand. I'm going to set the... Uh, yeah. I'm sitting down. I'll just stand up maybe. Yeah, that helps a lot. Yeah, it's fun digging through these old kits. So here's the directions. Let's open a little bit to show you here. So this is a real easy kit to build, for me anyway. With bins, it's so old, even though it's open. I don't think I'll build it. I think I'll just leave it the way it is. Yeah, it's neat to see these old instructions. Some of my cars in um, probably the 70s, 80s, around in there, they were really complicated, you know, when I first started building. Yeah, in the 70s. So the glass is really nice, all the plastic for the windshield. So let's see. 
So this would be a fun build. I'd like to build it because I never built a station wagon before. Somebody already put in the tail lights for me. <laughs> yeah, that's a really, really neat looking wagon. So I like the front end on here. So I like the grill. And there's a few of the parts, the dashboard. So we put the steering wheel and column in a little bit. Somebody started, already put the rims and tires together. So yeah, it's, these little kits, they're really neat. So the drivetrain, so there's not a whole lot of parts here, I, I've had some models, just a ton, ton of parts. So yeah, and then got the chrome bumpers, I like these big 50s and 60s bumpers. What I'd like to do if I did build this, instead of going a color like this, I'd like to do a real radical paint job, like a metallic purple, or I don't know, just maybe a lime green, something of today, you know, a modern look with a classic car, maybe. But then some purists out there will say, no, you'll ruin it. You know, paint it the original color. So I don't know. That's if I build it. I'll probably just leave it like this. Maybe um, maybe display it. I'd like to display it on my shelves in the garage. I'm making a little display out there. As you can see from my last video, I found some gen release little cars radio controlled cars in a box and i made a little display out there so i have some more boxes to go through in my garage on the shelf and make room so i'm thinking about just making a display on some of the cars and this would be a good candidate because there's no plastic on it so you know, the plastic like this, you know, it gets really hot out here in Vegas and really hot in the garage. And I think it would shrink this plastic and then cause a rip and then it would just start ripping. So I don't know if that's a good idea, you know, to put this in the garage. I don't want the original seal here, you know, to start ripping. And same thing with this Camaro. It's all sealed. So... Yeah, I don't want to do that because it does get super hot in the garage. You know, we're talking, well, outside between like 115 and 118 degrees in the summer. So, you know, it's pretty hot in the garage. So, okay, so, like I said, this one's sealed, so I can't open it. This would be a fun... Built, I have built a 1994 Trans Am for my sister, and I, I already showed that on YouTube. That's under my uh, model cars that I built. So this is a Turbo Z28 Camaro from Monogram. Yeah, I'm real familiar with that name. Built quite a few. Okay, I just seen that here. And this one is molded in color. Yeah, some of my models that I'll be showing that I built, some uh, are molded in color. I did, did in paint and some I did paint. It just depends what I felt like doing that day <laughs> or if I felt like going out and getting the paint or not. So let me know if you guys have these models. You might. I know the other two there are kind of rare. I believe the box of this one came out in 1980. 
So let me know if you have any of these. You might, more of you might have this uh, Z28. Really nice looking car. And it's nice when they mold them in color, just in case if you're not good at painting. This is my Z28 on the license plate. It's a California plate. So the hood does open, shows off the engine. Yeah, so this would be a cool one to build too if it wasn't sealed. Now this one is a 120 scale. Usually they're 125th. So this is a little bigger. So I'll show you the difference real quick. So this, so this station wagon here, see it says 125th scale. And this one over here says a big 120th scale. So, so you can see the difference in size. So the Camaro is way bigger, the distance from here to here, and then over on the side here. So yeah, I love all three of these. Let me know which one's your favorite. I'll go through these again. Stand up here. Let's see. I get a kick out of this one because I never even seen this one before. I mean, I haven't seen the Plymouth wagon either, but this looks just so old. And I don't even know the scale. Um, don't say, well... The wagon's 125th, and let's see. Yeah, see, the wagon's way bigger. Let's see. So I don't know what the scale would be. I'll never know. Okay, so let me know which one you guys like better. So we got the 1906 Renault town car. We got the 60 Plymouth station wagon. And we got the Turbo Z28 Camaro. So if you want, go ahead and leave those, your answer in the comments and which one you would like to build. Uh, well, I like to build all of them. Like I said, I, I built the Trans Am that's similar, the body shape to this. And uh, this kind of has the fins in the back. I've built like 57 Chevys that had fins in the back. So this would probably be the most unique build I ever did. But uh, like I said, these two are on plastic. If I did build this, I'd maybe... I'm thinking about if I built it, make a radical custom out of it. I like to chop it. I'm not good at chopping. Um, it's been a long time since I chopped the top. It's very hard. Um, I done a 50 Merc I'll be showing pretty soon. I won um, some trophies at model car shows that I just cut the top off. I turned it into a convertible. So. Okay, so that's it everybody. So. Let me know what you think of my models, and if you want to see more that are coming up, stay tuned. Um, I'll have models coming up in future videos, and if you want to see um, the models that I've done already, um, just go to my playlist and check it out. I got some really interesting collectibles between model cars, like I said, Hot Wheels, comic books. Um, I collect a lot of different things. <laughs> Probably too many things. But anyway, that's what my channel's about. So 
for new people. I hope uh, I've been getting some new subscribers lately, so I'm happy about that. And uh, thank you for watching. And as always, you guys take care out there. And I'll see you guys.